Riddles to check if you can escape from danger. If you get 50% by the end of this video, then you're good to go. Number one, a problem in the well, jungle. In the jungle. Like you're said. traveling through the jungle all on your own. Mm -hmm. One morning, you find out that you're almost out of water. Oh no. You can get more water from one of four sources. A oh, but which cactus, one is it? Hmm. A pond what? with salty seawater, a clear still lake, or a silty stream. What source of water will you choose to fill your filter water bottle with? Wait, it said a filter water bottle. That's a key, guys. I don't know about the juicy cactus. That better not be the answer, because that's kind of random. But a pond, probably pretty dirty. A lake, probably not as dirty as the pond, because when I think of a pond, I think of like frogs bouncing around in there. But a lake, you know, we got some fish in there maybe. But a stream, don't streams come like naturally? Like a stream from the mountains or something? It's a filtered water bottle. So you get the stream water, it filters it, and you're good to go. Boom. To Final answer. Oh. Okay, from now on, uh, but, but you guys know, if you guys are subscribers here, whenever they have the counter, I get stressed out. But that makes it more entertaining. So we're Most gonna- cacti are toxic. And instead of quenching one. your thirst, you'll have a severe stomach ache. Salty seawater will dehydrate you. Stagnant water in the still lake is swarming with all kinds of bacteria, and drinking it is extremely dangerous. Thus, your best choice would be the silty stream. It contains nothing your filter water bottle can't neutralize. Number 2. A road accident. 1 out of 12, baby! Let's see if we pass. You guys keep track as well. Let me know in the comments at the end of the video what you guys get. Truck, okay. a man riding a horse, and a motorcycle. Why is he on a horse in the road? The road for the I don't green know. Light. Suddenly, the truck driver drops his cell phone on the horn. The loud noise scares the horse, and it bites the motorcyclist's ear. Shocked and in pain, the man unwittingly moves his motorcycle and causes an accident. But which person actually broke the law? You have 10 seconds to figure it out. Ah, the guy that I was about to say the horse. I was like, I was thinking, like, is it, are you allowed to like ride a horse on the road? I swear I've seen it before. But the guy was on his phone. At first I was like, how does it, like dropping a phone on a horn, like make it go off? I don't know. But he was on his horn while driving. <laughs> he was. I paused again. Sorry. He was on his phone while driving. No bueno. It's the motorcyclist. Oh my! Because he isn't wearing a helmet while driving. Yeah, but what about the phone? Three. I got half a point. Okay, I got half a point. And you guys get half a point too if you guys said like the same as. A me. forest escape. It's getting dark, and very soon wild animals will start their hunt. Ooh. There are four roads you can choose from the north, south, west, and east. But the north path will take you to a supermassive black hole ready what? to swallow you up. The south road goes through a lake full of huge whale sharks. If you take the west road, you'll end up at the edge of a ginormous hole in the ground which can't be crossed, even with the help of a rope. And the east path will bring you to a sky-high mountain which is impossible to climb over. You have 10 seconds to choose your way. Okay, now are we b going based off of a reality here? Because, like, you're not going to find a, a giant hole, void, whatever the heck that is. You need to follow the south road. Ah, Whale sharks one. present no threat to people, and they'll let you swim across whatever. the lake without any problems. Okay. Four. One and a half, right, two, three. A psycho. a psycho caught you and let you choose where you'd have to stay on your own for the following three weeks. If you manage to survive, He'll set you free. He gave you three options. A desert full of cacti, a sunny field with flowers, a banana and a glass of water, and a beach under stormy skies, surrounded by sharp cliffs and hit by high waves. Where do you have the best chances to survive? That was too much info. Why do we have to pick one? Wait, why do we have to pick one? That was too much info. What was at the start here? Okay, Psycho caught you and let you choose where you'd have to stay on your own for the following three weeks. Okay, where are we staying for three weeks? I don't want to listen to it all again because it was too much info, but this one has food and water, so I'm going to go with that one. But that's probably like the obvious answer, so that's probably not it. But there's some trick trickery here. There's some trickery. Like, if you go through this desert, one... In the desert, there's no water and you won't last long. One banana and a glass of water won't help you to survive for three weeks. Your only choice is the beach. The sea Why? will provide you with food, and since the weather is cloudy, you'll be able to drink rainwater. Of course. Five, a scary of castle. Course. 
One night, you find yourself stuck in an old, spooky castle. You hear someone chasing after you, and you run faster and faster, but suddenly, a dead end. However, as your eyes adjust, oh, more doors. you notice nice. three doors in the wall. But behind each door, there are some horrifying creatures. The first door hides zombies. Werewolves are behind the second one. And if you open the third door, you'll come face to face with bloodthirsty vampires. Which door should you open to have a chance to survive? Okay, wait. I just, this is too much info! It's too much info! Okay, I'm gonna watch that again. You guys don't have to watch it again, but I'm gonna watch it again just so I understand what's going on. Okay, I just watched, listened to it again. I still don't know. So I'm gonna go with vampire because maybe the vampire will go for the guy chasing me. Escape through the second door. Oh, the yeah, of course. It's waxing at the moment, and werewolves well, how did I know? transform during a full moon. Six. A wicked Whatever. kidnapper. Whatever. Your kidnapper Guess I'm not surviving. The basement by a crazy professor. But the basement has three doors, and one of them leads to freedom. More doors, jeez. And you get to open the doors one by one. Behind the first okay. door, there's a dense jungle full of deadly creatures. Uh -huh. Behind the second door, there's a gigantic fire-breathing dino that could burn you alive. Okay. And behind the third door, you see a lake of ice water that freezes everything in several seconds. How can you escape? Okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna go... Last time they were talking about the moon, so now I gotta figure out what's going on at the start here. Kidnapped and held in a basement by a crazy professor. But the basement... Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna do another round of analysis, this is, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, you know what? We're going through this door on the left here because if I get poisoned, the professor has probably some sort of uh, antidote, okay? I don't know. These are tough. Walk out through the second door. Oh, dinosaurs the second one again. Breathe fire. What? Dinosaurs are extinct, man! Of course they're not gonna be breathing fire, they're not gonna be breathing anything! The Attic Mystery. Mark and James played in the attic where it was dark and dirty. But when they came down, only Mark's face was covered in dust, while James' face was miraculously clean. However, it was James who went and washed his face. You have 10 seconds to figure out why. What? Again, I'm gonna go replay all that stuff and figure out what the heck's going on because I just just it just went through my mind just like in school the teacher is reading a book and it just goes off through my mind. Anyway, I'll cut back once I got the answer. I got it because he doesn't know what he looks like. He saw his friend's face because covered in dust, so he's like, "Ooh, I'm probably covered in dust too." Boom! That's it. That's genius. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, come on. James looked at Mark's face and thought that he was dirty too. Ooh. At the same time, when Mark looked at James, whose face was spotless, he decided oh. he was just as clean. I didn't get the second part where the friend was like, oh, he's clean, so I'm clean. But I still got it. I still got it. I could take half a point there, but actually, we got to give myself half a point because I already have half a point from the other time. So that equals one now. So boom, we're back in business. <laughs> a treasure hunt. A treasure hunter got lost in a forest. But after he had been walking for some time, he noticed a crossroad with a big stone in the middle. There was a note on this stone which read, 4 plus no 5. The man <laughs> realized that the sign must be showing the direction toward the treasure. But it was written in some tricky cipher. Can you help the treasure hunter to decipher the code? <sighs> North, 4 plus 5, 9. Go north nine feet. I had to pause it. Four, 10 seconds is not enough. Four plus N O north 45, maybe? 45 degrees north. The man should turn the note upside down. Oh, of course he then should. It will read south. Oh, yeah, that totally says south, all right. Oh, yeah, that's where it is. Yep. Nine. Maybe and 10 feet, maybe 100. Who knows? House. South, anyway. You got kidnapped and locked in a stone house. However, there are four no, doors, more doors. You can escape through. But behind the first door, it's extremely cold. And if you choose to go that way, you'll turn into a block of ice in a matter of seconds. Okay. The second door opens into a water tank swarming with hungry sharks. Okay. Behind the third door, the sun shines so brightly that it burns everything in no time. Okay, impossible, but okay. Just kidding, I don't even know if that's impossible. I'm just making up toxic stuff. Gas that won't let you breathe. Is there a way to escape? You have 10 seconds to figure it out. Ah, I feel like it's a trick. The sun 
can't get that hot. Can it? I don't think it can. So go through that door, man. They're making up stuff. There's... Yeah, that's the one. Right Wait there. Wait until yep. the evening when the sun goes down okay. and escape Half through the point. third door. <laughs> I... No, give it a point. I said the third door, so if he went through the third door, he would... But no, because I would have said go right now during the day. So then he would not have made it. So I guess half point, half point. Dropped into a pit. One day, John was caught by a maniac and thrown into a 20-foot deep pit. Oh, I hate maniac when that happens. told him that in five minutes, the pit would start to fill with water. John was horror-struck because he can't swim. He looked around and noticed that on the bottom of the pit, there was a six-foot-long rope, a four-foot-tall wooden barrel, and a three-foot-tall metal safe. John himself was six feet tall. How could he use these objects to get out of the pit alive? Okay, let's see here. Six plus four is 10, plus another six is 16, plus three, that's 19. That's 19 and the pit is 20, so he's one foot off. But we have something called arms, my friends. Arms goes up a couple feet, Pull yourself up, you're good to go. That's the answer. You have 10 seconds to help the poor man. So here's the, like, the full answer. So this thing, you're not going to be able to pick that up very good. So you're going to put the barrel on top. Then you're going to get up. I don't know how the heck you're going to... Wait a second. I don't know how the heck you're going to climb up with the rope if there's nothing up top. But you're somehow going to get up the rope. And then you're going to pull yourself up with your arms. Boom. John should hold on to the barrel when the water starts to rise. It'll help him to stay afloat and take him to the surface. Okay. I guess mine would not have worked because, yeah, the rope, there'd be nothing for the rope to hang on to, so he'd be pulling and the rope would come back down, so I guess A I got cafe nothing. cafe theft. Look at this picture. Ten minutes before it was taken, someone from this photo had stolen all the money from the cafe on the beach. However, all these people claim that none of them had visited the cafe in the last ten minutes. Who's the thief? Guys, sorry guys, I gotta listen to that again, I gotta listen to it again. I'll be fully transparent. None of that went through, none of that process, just like a couple other ones. But that was because, in between the last one and this one, I looked at my phone and there's a text and I read the text and now I'm thinking about it, so I didn't think about that, but I'm back in business, okay? I'm back in business here. Sure. Man, these are too hard! These are so hard! I was gonna say this guy, because the cafe doesn't sell ice cream, but that's dumb because the person would have had to be at the cafe to steal the money. So he's out. He's good to go. Now this guy looks like he's been swimming in the ocean, so he would not have been at the cafe, but that could be the trick. I have a feeling it's this guy. But I'm not gonna say it's that guy. Now this lady right here, it looks like she's at the cafe right now, and she has a drink from the cafe, and this person has a corn on the cob. Bring out the lobster! Let me know in the comments if you guys got that joke. Bring out the whole ocean! <laughs> okay. Let's go golfing! Okay. Um, it's this lady. It's her, right here. Because she has to drink it, she's sitting right beside it. I don't know what this guy, he's just cooking some hot dogs. The thief is the man with an ice cream. That was my if first guess. It more than 10 minutes ago, it would, it have, would have been melted. melted. Of course. The man would have already eaten it. That's true. 12. A prison escape. Matt escaped from prison by digging a long tunnel in the floor of his cell. Mm -hmm. He'd been crawling through the underground tunnel for three hours when he saw that the main tunnel divided into three smaller ones. But the first one was on fire, what? and the second tunnel was home to a nest of venomous snakes. The third tunnel was set with explosives. How can Matt escape? He can't! Why would there be three tunnels underground when he just... I swear they said he built the tunnel, right? So why would there be three more tunnels? That, that makes no sense. That literally makes no sense at all. Well, I mean, I would choose the top one because, like... They didn't say that the bombs are going off. They just said there's bombs there, right? Now, if you go down the middle one, you're gonna get eaten by the snakes. Go down the bottom. Oh wait, no, they didn't say what kind of snakes, did they? I was home to a nest of venomous snakes. Okay, they did. The venomous. Third you don't want to get caught on fire, so yeah, go up top. I'm probably missing something, but yeah, just go up top. Or it's some trick thing again. Actually, there wouldn't have been three tunnels. If they say that, I swear, I'm giving myself a point. Matt should opt for the first tunnel. He can walk through it after he puts out the fire with dirt. <sighs> Okay, you know what? If I was in that situation, I would never be in that situation, hopefully. <laughs> but I would literally, like, that's something that I would do, I guess. Like, let's just try to put out the fire. But, like, when you think about this, like, when you're looking at it, you just don't think about that thing. So this test is invalid. Like, this is false. If you guys fail, just like me, I don't even know what I got. But if you failed, I have faith in you guys that you would actually survive. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. We're not even going to look at the results because we already know our results. Well, I don't, but you guys do. And you have the power to win. That's going to be it for today's video. Peace.